Hi, this presentation is about using FLIP. I'm Sarah Gordon, faculty in World Languages and Cultures, and I've used FLIP with great results in undergrad and grad courses, hybrid, asynchronous, face-to-face, -face, and IVC broadcast courses. I really encourage you to try it with your students. Today, I'd like to offer just a brief practical overview of FLIP and some of the activities and affordances of this platform. So what is FLIP and how does it work? It's a social learning platform, a video discussion platform where students and instructors can record video, audio, text. It's a little bit like an academic TikTok, although it's a little bit safer to use than TikTok and we can moderate content and encourage interaction in our courses. Flip used to be called Flipgrid until this summer and now the name and icon have changed and this has changed in our canvas to reflect that change as well. Flip offers a lot of training and support for instructors and for students. There are easy tutorials and a lot of conferences, certifications you can earn and um, a lot of new options on the app coming out every day. Here's an image of some students using Flipgrid. It ends up um, being a very creative, very interactive way to engage with each other. It's very student-centered. Students get very excited about using props and showing different things on their Flip um, because they are familiar with that TikTok platform. Um, they get very enthusiastic and interact with each other well on Flipgrid. What I like about Flip now is that it's very well integrated with Canvas. We can find it under our settings, apps, external apps. Uh, you do need to sign up for a free account with Flipgrid. The link is there in Canvas. Students can also sign up for that there. They have a wonderful mobile app as well that works for iPhone and Android. And students can record outside. They enjoy doing that too. Uh, on their phones. And um, I also like that this app is integrated with Canvas so that it uses the speed grader and other Canvas features. So some modes of communication that we can practice with FLIP are the three basic modes of communication, of course, interpersonal, interpretive, and presentational. It's not limited to just presentations on the videos of Flipgrid, it's very interactive. So ACTFL talks about the three different modes of communication and interpersonal is often two way or more. It's an exchange of information and involves a negotiation of meaning. Interpretive is often one way interpreting texts or images, talking about other cultures or perspectives. But with Flipgrid, we find that students are engaging in interpretation together and interacting and discussing different interpretations. We also find that presentations are not limited to being one way on Flip and students are not just presenting information, they're also interacting with each other, posting video and audio comments um, and really turning the presentations into something more interactive than we might see face-to-face -face in the classroom. Flip offers so many options and they're adding new ones every day. The students really enjoy backgrounds and stickers and filters that they're really used to using from Instagram or TikTok. We can also do mixtapes in which we pick different videos or instructor videos or student videos uh, to create a mix for students to watch or highlights. What I like is that uh, student replies to each other can be very accessible and very inclusive. Students can respond with text or video or audio, whatever they may be comfortable with. I also like that we can uh, have time constraints and have videos from 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes. And students often find that they take the full amount of time because they're enjoying making flips so much. We can do public and private feedback. So as an instructor, I can put comments to one or more students that everyone can see and respond to, or I can do private feedback to a student so that they're not um, put on the spot. I also like the accessibility and the closed captioning. The captions are editable, and also they provide support 
for different languages like French, Spanish, other languages. Uh, so we can get the captions in other languages. There are a lot of benefits and options to using Flip. I'll just name a few of the reasons we might want to use it. There are many affordances for the app. We can boost and track engagement. We can track minutes and hours that each student has done, that each topic or content um, has offered for engagement. Mostly we can lower the affective filter, really make students feel comfortable. And this is a really important aspect of Flipgrid. We can give students time to think, time to process, time to look things up, time to look for examples, to formulate arguments, to digest material. And we don't just put them on the spot by calling the naming class or making them raise their hands. We can build community this way. Students like to watch and rewatch the videos and comment with each other. Um, and make more videos. So we really increase the amount of interaction um, that we have. Even for face-to-face -face classes, we can increase um, the interaction discussion time. We can really foster inclusivity because everyone gets a chance to make a video. Everyone gets a chance to talk or respond with text or audio or video and to make their own voice heard. We can practice these three modes of communication, presenting, interacting with others, interpreting, I'd like to share just three examples of useful articles um, in the scholarship of teaching and learning on FLIP. And Lowenthal and Moore 2020 talks about using FLIP in asynchronous classes. Students in the study found that FLIP was easy to use and increased social presence and facilitated social interaction. In the second one, Edwards and Lane 2021, a Japanese 1010 blended class, the data showed that FLIP facilitated communicative exercises and activities. In the third one, um, pharmacy students used it as a self-reflection tool to reflect on what they had learned and challenges they had faced. And students found that it did foster more interaction. And 96% of students in this study were satisfied with the tool for reflection. There are, of course, infinite possibilities for activities. I like to use Flip for icebreakers or introductions. Um, it takes a long time to get through a large class of everyone introducing themselves on the first day. And then Flipgrid, they can really be creative and be themselves and introduce themselves how they would like to. I've done activities like show us three items in your backpack um, or other fun icebreakers. Um, goal setting is really important at the beginning of the semester. We can do videos and share our goals. And at the end of the semester or the end of a project, we can use it for reflections. And this is really important for project-based learning as well. I like to use FLIP also for formative assessments to see how students are doing, to check in so they can see their own progress. Um, this is useful in language classes, but it can be in other fields as well. It's wonderful for reviews for exams. It can be student-centered reviews with students sharing videos, um, reviewing different topics or instructor reviews as well. Discussion questions, of course, um, are much more lively on Flipgrid and everyone gets a chance to talk. Interpretation and opinion, again, with the interpretive mode of communication, students can provide interpretations of texts, images um, or whatever we're studying can provide opinions. This way everyone has a chance to offer their opinion as well. It's particularly effective for jigsaw learning where we have two or more students that each have a part of the knowledge um, and can share that way. It's also excellent for research project elevator pitches. So for undergraduate research, project-based learning, service learning, um, practice getting and giving those pitches and responding to them is really valuable. Of course, um, just like TikTok, it is excellent for show and tell or how-to demonstrations. Students can explain a grammar point in a language class, a formula in a math class. They can demonstrate with different objects, props, images, um, and they really love doing the how-to demonstrations. Presentations, of course, this way we don't use all of our in class time or Zoom time for student presentations or exposés or reviews, we can post them all on Flipgrid and students have a chance to watch and rewatch them, comment on them via video, audio, or text. And today, since we are trying to do more 
job preparation and professional development. It's really wonderful to integrate job interview practice into any of our courses that we can. Uh, since so many job interviews are done via video or video recording now, it's valuable to have students um, try to do those videos in any of our classes with Flipgrid. So there are a lot of other activities I'm sure you can think of or have done yourself that would work well with Flipgrid. So here's an example of a flip where we can see three students showing um, some artwork and discussing this in the interpretive mode. We can see that people are posting comments um, shortly after they had done their videos and students can use images that they got off of the internet or um, props or pages out of a book, whatever they would like to show. And students are very enthusiastic about doing the show and tell and how to with these. So let's listen to what the students themselves have to say. Um, on the whole, students really like it. That's not a very steep learning curve um, for them to get started making videos since they are so familiar with Gen Z social media like TikTok. Um, my students have said it's less stressful than raising your hand in class. Um, I learned so much from the other videos that so really is student centered as they can watch and rewatch and interact with other students. They can ask their classmates questions. We can give them credit for doing all of this via Canvas and the speed grader. What I hear most often is that they had more time. They had more time to think um, that they weren't put on the spot. A lot of them liked it better than the Canvas written discussions, though they can choose again to interact via text, audio, or video. It's up to them or up to the instructor. Um, what was really important, some students talked about anxiety or comfort. They felt less anxiety than standing up in front of the class. Um, it's a great way to review for the final and that really has helped had with the um, instructor and student-led reviews. We can make a mixtape, TAs, students, instructors can uh, make short video clips from 30 seconds to five minutes just to review for any exam. One thing I thought was really wonderful and really interesting is someone said they got to know students from other campuses um, that were participating on Zoom, but also on TikTok, uh, maybe outside of class, I don't know. Um, but they got to know each other via Flipgrid um, and their videos and video comments. So it's very interactive and we can measure um, some of the engagement time and we can see how much they're interacting with each other. I liked hearing everyone's perspectives. I thought this is really important because I want everyone's voice to be heard. I wanna empower everyone uh, to have a voice and be heard and be able to participate. So. Uh, it's clear from all this that students were participating more and, and feeling more comfortable. I think that FLIP is really valuable for any field, any format, any level. It works well for face-to-face -face, uh, when we don't have time in the classroom for everyone to talk. It works well with hybrid and remote, so it increases that social interaction. For IBC broadcast, it helps people connect from the different campuses. And of course, with asynchronous, students can watch the videos and interact with them on their own time. So I found on the whole that it really fosters creativity, engagement, and inclusivity. Um, even Flipgrid uh, originally started out with wanting to empower every voice. And I find that this is really true in the classroom, that everyone is able to talk and participate, engage with the material and interact with each other. So I really uh, encourage you once again to try using Flipgrid in your classes. Thank you. And please share your Flipgrid experiences, your Flip experiences, ex examples, questions, or any ideas with me. Thank you.